This story is called, It's Really Better to Ask Than to Think You Already Know. This is a story about two teachers, Barb, that's me, and Karen, that's her. They went to visit their friends at the Friendship School in the Kasi Hills of India. The Kasi people love to exchange gifts with friends during visits. So Barb and Karen thought about what gift they might bring for their Kasi friends. Both Barb and Karen are teachers and they love books. So they thought, I bet that the teachers at the Friendship School would love to have a library full of books. Barb and Karen contacted other teachers in schools in Seattle and they all wanted to give books and to help support a new library at the Friendship School. When Barb and Karen saw their Kasi friends, they said, how would you like us to donate books for a new library? They assumed that their friends would be overjoyed. They thought they already knew their answer. But instead, their friends looked troubled. They answered, we like books a lot and we'd like to have a new library someday, and we're grateful that you offer to supply one for the Friendship School. But right now, what we need for the school to open is a new whiteboard and a new gong. With a whiteboard, a teacher can teach, and with a gong, the students can go to recess. Barb and Karen thought about what their Kasi friends had said. Then they told their friends, Now that we've heard what you really need, would you accept a whiteboard and a gong instead of a library? The teachers talked and Kong Ro, the leader of the school, said, Yes, we would like that very much. So Barb and Karen went shopping in the capital city. Karen and Reverend Dariuhan found a brand new whiteboard. And Barb found a wonderful shop full of all sorts of gongs. There was one that was just perfect to let the students know when recess starts and ends. The teachers at the Friendship School were very happy with their useful gifts. Now the teachers could teach their students all sorts of things that they wanted to learn. And the students could do their work and listen for the gong to sound so they could run out and play at recess. And Kasi children love to play. The end. And we're still learning. <laughs>